Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create a location pin icon pointing to a map. So we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool and just left click and drag to create a rectangle. Pick any colour for now, it doesn't matter which one. And then we're just going to swap the fill and the stroke so we have a black outline and no fill. And I'm just going to increase the width. Now you can make this as thick as you like. If you've got the newer version of Adobe Illustrator CC, you'll see these little circles just on the inside of the main anchor points. You can pull those in to round the corners off. If you're using an older version, that's still fine. You can go up to the effect, down to stylize, round corners, tick the preview box and just adjust the radius like so. And then if you want to edit that, you just need to go to the appearance palette and you see here it's got rounded corners selected. Okay, so just make sure you're happy with the radius of your corners and select the direct selection tool, drag around these top two anchor points, select the scale tool and then just drag towards the center. And then we're going to select these top two again and actually I'm just going to use the arrow keys now just holding shift, just tap those down and then possibly make those corners a little less round, something like that. So this is going to be our map. So now we're going to create the location pin. If you left click and hold and select the ellipse tool, hold shift and just left click and draw a perfect circle like so. And we can swap the fill and the stroke again so that becomes a solid shape and then what we're going to do is we're going to use our pen tool for this we can start right in the middle and where it says intersect we know that it's exactly lining up in the center here make sure that you've got your smart guides turned on just because this will help make sure you get everything lined up in central and we're just going to drag out to about here then holding shift, you can see here your smart guides do a lot of the work for you, it's keeping it straight and where it says intersect again, just click and it makes creating shapes that are perfectly lined up very very easy, that's using the smart guides. Now if you press command Y on the Mac or control Y on the PC, you'll see that this is two shapes at the moment. So just to keep this tidy, we're going to go over to our Pathfinder palette and select Unite, that's the top left one. Just click that once and you'll see it makes this now into one complete shape. What we're gonna do next is then select our ellipse tool and hold Shift, just create another circle. I'm going to fill this with white and then just position it on top. And you can see here, the Smart Guides, it just snaps it in place again. And then you can make this as big or as small as you like, depending on the location pin style you're going for. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller. And you can leave that filled white, or if you're happy to commit to something more permanent, you can select both these shapes with the white on top. Go over to the Pathfinder palette and then click minus front. And what that does, I'll show you. If I just layer colour, let's say red, behind the shape, you can see that this is white. Now if I select the pin, and then the white on top, and then I do that minus front, or subtract, and click this, you can see that now the background shows through. And that's how we want to finish it, because we don't want that white, we want it to be totally transparent in the middle. And we can position that around about here. This is where it's going to go. Probably make it a little bit bigger. I can select both of these and just make sure they're centrally aligned. And now what we want to do is select our location pin. Go up to Object, Path, Offset Path. Just tick the preview box. And we want to create an offset. So let's say about 20 pixels, maybe a bit more. 25, 26. So now what it's done, 
is it's created a second version with an offset of 26 pixels. So effectively it's 26 pi pixels bigger around the whole edge. So now I'm going to select this bigger version, but first I'm going to select the map. Sorry, we're going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. So that's expanded the rounded corners. We're going to do it again. And I'll show you that in preview mode. You can see here it's still an outline. And now we've expanded it to be a complete shape. So you can't adjust the width of this anymore, or not easily in the stroke palette. So now I'm going to take this big shape here that is on top of the map shape. And with those two selected, again, we're going to go to the Pathfinder palette and click Subtract. And as you can see, it knocks that bigger version of the pin that was offset by 26 pixels out of the map shape. And if I go back into preview mode, we've got something that looks like this. Now I can go and give this a color. And then I can just switch on my background I created earlier. Group these elements together here, object and group, and just bring that up in size. And then if I click this little shape up here, align to artboard, I can just make sure that it's horizontally and vertically aligned to the artboard. And there we go, we've created a location slash map symbol thing in Illustrator. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it was helpful, Please let me know by hitting that like button and I'll see you next time. Take care.